Hi everyone, welcome to another Pick a Card Extra. Let me just make sure my, um, yeah, I'm recording. Okay, good. Anyway, back to this. Hi everyone, welcome back to another Pick a Card Extra. Today we are going to look at the topic. Hold on. Try and show you what we're doing. What are we going to do? Okay, I'm going to record one more today because the time is... Yes, getting on and I think I've got just time for one more so do you know what let's just pick this pretty little one here what blessing is on the way to me how about that I think that's sweet let's do that so what blessing is on the way to me guys feel free to choose from group one the rose quartz group two the clear quartz or group three the tiger's eye and I'll see you in your reading Okay, if you chose group number one, hold on, I'm just making sure that you can hear me. Uh, group number one, or the rose quartz, then you are in the right place. Now, what blessing is on the way to me? All right, let's see what we've got. We're going to draw five cards. We've got an ant. Oh, sorry, ant. <laughs> Oops, I don't know if you saw that. Maybe I'll edit that out. That, that looked painful. Sorry, ant, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean to knock you out. Jeez, I forgot, I forgot I'm actually quite big in comparison to an ant. Okay, we'll take four of these. What blessing is on the way to you, group number one? I can't wait to see. And we're going to take one of these. It's getting thin. Look at that. We don't have many of these now because I take out all the ones that we have used. So getting to be a very thin deck okay let's take a look oh excellent Rahu in the 10th have we had this why do I feel like we've had this maybe I didn't take them all out well I've been trying to keep track of that but anyway this is a good blessing this is really giving you the permission to just go for it regarding your career enjoy it there's some blessing that's on its way to you regarding your career path so look out for that We've got the Eight of Swords. We'll deal with that in a moment. All right, we've got the Three of Swords. Yep, we'll deal with that in a moment. The Hanged Man. And the Ace of Swords. Group number one. You've got a few cards here that I want to get some clarifiers on. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me at all if you're going through some tough thing at the moment. Okay. The Eight of Swords is very often a card where we see ourselves as a victim. This is a really great depiction because look at that. She hasn't got any binds on her, anything binding her, right? In reality. But in the reflection in the mirror, she sees herself as a victim. Okay? So there could be something like that going on at the moment. This is painful. All right? Three of Swords is heartbreak. But heartbreak doesn't have to be triggered by a lover it can be triggered by a parent it can be triggered by a best friend it can be triggered by a co-worker even okay so there's some pain that you're going through at the moment we'll draw a couple of clarifiers on this don't you worry this one keeps coming up for you and there is some form of stasis or some kind of situation that you're in where you can't really make a move or you can't do anything okay and that is really tough no doubt about it all right but you've got blessings here and the two strongest blessings that you've got are these that we're going to park that there these are your blessings your incredible intellect and phenomenal sharp mind okay you're intelligent like no other and your career ambition there's something pulling you forward saying come forward on this career path there really is something amazing that's awaiting you let's get a couple of cards for this because I can see that there is something challenging. We've got death rebirth on the back. So you're, you're going through some painful transition, some painful ending. Something's happening. Something's transforming. Something's renewing. Okay. So hang in there. Group number one. What blessing is next on the path for you after this heartbreak? I want this one. Let's take it. Whoa, the tower. Guys. Oh man, what's come on? What blessing is next for group number one? It's 
take this. Yeah, the world. Look at that. You're going to be feeling amazing again. I'm telling you, I know what it's like for you right now. I know that it's really, really tough. You are going through a towel moment. You're going through something challenging at the moment. I know. But look at this. The world. She's emerging, renewed. She's completing the cycle. She's about to break through into a brand new chapter. The new chapter is opening. You've just got to clear out some painful energies first, okay? And But that's happening. And it'll happen in your subconscious mind while you sleep. I don't feel like it's any heavy lifting or any heavy healing work that you have to do. Keep a good prayer practice or a good meditation practice where you switch off your mind now and then. Don't always be in the mind. Be sure to switch off the mind now and then. Really important training for you, group number one. And this new chapter awaits, okay? So that is the new blessing that's coming. It's a brand new chapter. It's a brand new life chapter, okay? It's bigger than your love life. It's bigger than your career. It's, it's going to be really very good. So hang in there, group number one. Take care. Thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there group number two. If you chose group number two or this beautiful whoops, quartz crystal, you are in the right place. So we are going to take a look at what blessing is coming towards you. What's the next blessing on your path? Group number two. Let's take a look here got a plane flying overhead that's a good omen right maybe you're going somewhere maybe it's time to travel maybe you're gonna see something new all right let's see what we've got in here we're getting very thin on these now oh, I have to get the shop going don't I all right oh good one wow Venus in the 11th house mega wealthy possesses many luxuries loves partner friends and children and they all love you I would imagine forms strong alliances with people who take a stand is sensitive do you know um, Johnny Depp has Venus in his 11th house and I'm pretty sure it's in own house as well it's a very good placement all right so excellent that's good that's very social it's very loving it's very fun very very social so excellent Oh, the lovers. Woo, well, maybe some new lover is going to come into your life. Maybe if you're single, of course, right? So if you're single, you know, if you're in a partnership, this is a great omen too, because perhaps there's a new level of love, a deeper level of love for you and your partner, you and the one that you are with, right? Beautiful. Knight of Pentacles. Excellent. Good omen here it's not gonna happen too quickly right you know they say time flies when we're having fun and actually it's good if you can slow all this fun down I always think that's really beautiful so good that you know uh, time may not fly maybe you have fun but in a sustainable way and in a way that it continues for a really long time maybe that's what's coming up for you now maybe you've had quite a long time uh, of things being difficult and I'm seeing that you deserve a long time of things being good okay so pray for that wish for that to come in high priestess wonderful so your intuitive powers might be increasing at this time three of pentacles my goodness is amazing so work you're going to be loving your work again if you haven't been or there's something really positive coming up on the work front that I think will enable you to use your inner gifts that will enable you to be more creative to something to do with you using your inborn talents at work more and more and more this is a brilliant reading group number two there are a lot of blessings on the horizon for you another plane going overhead wow let's have a look might be what's next for you you might be traveling you might be going somewhere okay so I'm really excited for you group number two if this has been a good reading let me know let, let me know in the comments below I'd love to hear from you otherwise I look forward to seeing you next time
Hi there group number three. All right, so we're going to take a look at what blessing is on its way to you. So, and you chose the, that thing, the turf, or hang on, tiger's eye, sorry. <laughs> right, okay, let's see what we're going to get. This is my last reading for today and I am going to go home. I tell you, I'm so exhausted, but I've recorded, how many of these have I recorded today? Three, I was going to do four, but that is way too ambitious. I'm exhausted. It's not going to happen. <laughs> what I might do, who knows, I might do this again. Like I'd like, there are other locations I want to do. And this is all kind of like before I go back, you know, like I just, I like to have a memory of home. Oh, nice. Jupiter in the 11th. That's a blessing for sure. Excels in finance, entrepreneur, br brilliant intellect, loves music, rich, lives long, famous, courageous, teaches children beautifully. Great. Okay, good start. All right, ten of wands. Yeah, you've been working hard, group three. Four of cups. Okay, a little bit bored maybe. <laughs> Tower moment. Uh-huh. Oh, wow, the sun. This is great. Group number three. You're in need of some of this because I tell you, I think you've been on a long, hard road. And this blessing that's coming to you, something you've probably been wishing for for a very, 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 very long time. There's a shake up in your life, though. It feels like this is not without um, some challenge, okay? It's like something's got to break down to break through and you're going to have a breakthrough. Look at that, you've got the sun. This is the best card in the deck. It's creativity, it's children, it's finding the love of your life. It's, you know, it's infinity, right? This is the best card you can get. Whatever infinity is for you, think of that. That is on its way to you. But you've been on a long, hard road. And Jupiter here in the 11th, Let's have a little look at this. Jupiter in the 11th, huh? That's actually really good. You might have been quite money focused recently. You might have been quite career focused, quite money focused. Oh gosh, and I am just quite focused on that ship. Let me show you. It's not a ship. It's a, it's that. <laughs> okay, sorry, that was in my peripheral vision and I was just like, I have to go look at that. I have to check that out because I was like, is it a snake? I don't know. <laughs> in Australia, you never know. <laughs> There's some sort of black thing in the corner of my peripheral vision. I mean, smooth sailing. Look at that. Smooth sailing. I mean, that's what that is. You got some smooth sailing coming up. Group number three. I'm excited for you for that. That's what this sun card is going to feel like, right? That's the blessing. You've got some smooth sailing coming, but it's not without a bit of breakdown to break through. And pro probably you're good at handling this in that your higher self, or you, you're, you know how to stay above the chaos kind of thing and be a bit bored, be a bit like, mm, it's not being bored. It's, um, what is it? So it's like the 3D you, can't do much right now it's like the divine is clearing doing a lot a heck of a lot of orchestration and work behind the scenes is 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 what i'm seeing there okay a lot is being done to bring you this but don't worry it's coming group number three just hang in there it's going to be smooth sailing all right so i do hope this has been a good little pick a card extra for you a little burst of something in your week let me know how you get on in the comments below i would love to hear from you and i look forward to seeing you next time